Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I am Sully, and today, fellas, we're going to talk about why EASHL is not more popular on YouTube. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're about ready to say, oh boy, better strap myself into about six minutes of pack bashing. And that's not the case. Uh, packs, for what it's worth, are here to stay. They're not going anywhere. I personally don't like packs. I do not see the appeal. I've heard every excuse in the book. I've heard it's a rush to see what someone gets. And to my... <laughs> if you think it's a rush... <laughs> I'm not even going to go into that. But let me just say, you know, if you like Hut, great. But uh, it's not really what I'm talking about. You know, trade days are... I can understand the appeal of trade days. You know, it's nice to trade with a YouTuber and get cards back you know I'm, I'm I see that but I'm talking about strictly from a gameplay standpoint because FIFA even FIFA gets views in uh, YouTube videos of gameplay whether it's versus or, or hut and I see streams and you literally have to like hold people's hands at giveaways to maintain viewers I mean Chell is struggling across the board with viewers in terms of gameplay now the menus holy tits we love ourselves some menus let me tell you what man this nhl community has got to be the easiest people to please because ea you throw up some menus and oh my tits man these kids come crawling crawling to the menus but not the gameplay and I come back to why isn't EASHL more popular primarily because if you look on Twitter and if L if MLG and those people are having a booger picking contest or Scumpy Humpy and the Seven Dwarfs are taking a dump, people are live tweeting this crap. I mean, holy tits, man. I don't understand esports. I don't consider it a sport. I don't understand the appeal of MLG. But holy tits, man, if Scumpy, Humpy, and Dumpy take a piss, it's on Twitter. And the NHL community, a lot of guys love MLG. They love the streams. Everyone live tweets it. It's almost like a Maple Leafs game. And I just don't understand why that interest in a team sport does not translate over into EASHL. It's sort of perplexing when you think about it. You know, HUT is a very 1v1, it's the same stuff, man. It doesn't change, it is set up. Listen, you want a HUT guy to be legit? Put guys on their opposite forehand. If he's a left winger, put him on the right wing, and you set up those one tees like it's no tomorrow. I mean, it is rinse, repeat. Even the top HUT player will tell you. it. The, the player does not dictate what happens. It's the, it's the same strategy, no matter what the opponent and you know i just don't understand why people love cod because there's so many upsets there's a lot of variety in terms of gameplay and teams matching up and their different styles and eashl is exactly like that i mean 6v6 is excellent i will concede that twos in eashl are hut in a nutshell but with even fives with the cpu goalie it's still great gameplay to watch and shout out to nuge going to vancouver that is huge i did a dual com with him you're gonna have to find it it's a while back but he's a great guy and i'm really psyched that he's able to go i think it's a great opportunity and he knows what needs to go into the game and he's not a guy who uploads hut but says in my spare time i'm on eashl oh my gosh oh, it cracks me up but anyways focus Sully um, I just don't understand why it doesn't translate and why you know messing with your build and the build is exactly like your class in Call of Duty and I just don't understand I don't know now I'm not talking about EASHL the mode to hut the mode because obviously on YouTube when you have trades you know you can tweet that out you know hut is more interactive as a whole uh, with when it comes to like pack openings and trade days but at the same time you know there are builds for eashl and there are things of that nature that apply to that would attract people and you can mess with your build and it's very customizable like your, your call of duty class and so again like 
you know, you can't tell me that HUD is so interactive because, it, you know, outside of trade days, that's really all you're getting with the interaction between the YouTuber and OTP lobbies are a blast. You know, you're seeing in the background, this isn't, this isn't nuge gameplay. This ain't LG, but, you know, it was just me going in there trying to get gameplay. So, I want to know what your guys' thoughts are and where, why EASHL really struggles compared to HUT. Now, I'm not talking about in terms of pack versus pack openings and trade days. I'm just talking about gameplay. HUT gameplay versus EASHL gameplay, why it struggles, because Nuge's gameplay is really phenomenal, you know, their teamwork. I know it sounds like I'm scratching Nuge's back, but I'm just keeping it 100 out here in these streets. But again, you know, like I said, I, I just don't understand why people don't want to watch it in terms of gameplay, because the gameplay is a lot of fun. And let me tell you what, man, I have, I have not laughed as hard, you know, I laughed so hard playing with guys in EASHL, when I, I don't laugh when I play HUT. If anything, I feel justified when I win. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. When you rage so much during HUT and you finally get that pullback wrister to go in and you're just like, I, sh I knew I should have beat you. You know, you feel relieved almost. I mean, HUT, I don't laugh when I play HUT. I laugh when I play EASHL. I mean, just the guys we have in terms of like, you know, Canuck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kanak is one of the funniest dudes. Uh, but Poison, you know, Grim, Madonna, uh, Deke, uh, No Fat Chicks. You know, and I play with AJ and Hope. They're a blast, too. I mean, it's really fun and social. And I even still, you know, threes is all right. But again, I just want your opinion. You know, let me know why you think EASHL struggles on YouTube. And do you think it can make a resurgence back? Because I, I think that YouTubers have discovered that HUT is their bread butt on toast you know what i'm saying well bread is toast but you guys get the point you know i think youtubers care about care about their success and i'm going to do a whole nother video on this topic about youtubers are sort of like the news you know they're going to dictate what you see you know the top guys will and i'm not asking for you, if a hut channel, you know, let's just take Deke, because Deke's probably one of the few guys that could handle me talking about him like this. But if Deke were to upload like one EASHL video in a blue moon, you know, that would suffice. I'm not telling Deke to switch his whole channel to EASHL, but like we could throw a video once a month or two weeks. I mean, let's not let's not act like. You know, I'm telling people to switch their channels, but you know, maybe if YouTubers would sort of just tease HUT, I mean, uh, EASHL a little bit, you know, show some leg, you know, show some leg. Don't keep that sucker covered up. If you got the legs, and show them, sister. You know, you know, show some skin, you know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm asking. Let, let, you know, I'm asking the big boys, the big YouTubers, let's see some ankle. You know, let's see some ankle. You know what I'm saying? So, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or on twitter whatever floats your boat and keeps it swimming upon these rocky shores known as youtube i am sully peace in the middle east and don't forget i'm from southeast and canuck you ain't from these la streets i'm out